Beckham can do exactly the same. We'll see what the result comes. Asking for the full 10 yards. There it is, far post. Unbelievable free kick. 1-0 Real Madrid. Well, Beckham changed it up there. Everybody expected him to go over the wall, put it into that upper corner, and instead he gave that look like he was going to go over the wall and instead went far post, bangs it off the inside of the upright. And when it's that close, there's not really much of a chance for the keeper. Such precision by number 23. And that's part of the reason he gets the big bucks. Here it is again. You see him hit it, goes low, go to the far corner. Reese took a step in behind the wall, thinking it's going to go the other way. He's got no chance to recover. Just well struck, a well struck ball by Beckham. You saw him in LA, he pulled a hamstring trying to do that. Here he puts it away cleanly. No concerned with much. Here's Beckham's free kick and his goal again. Tremendous strike. Lower to Matt Reese's lower left-hand corner off the upright. It's no chance. Even if Reese does six. No, definitely. When you hit it low like that, it, it makes the goalkeeper unsighted, and that just improves your chances of scoring. Ronaldo puts it on the right foot. Shot! And another goal! Ronaldo makes it 2-0 with a quality strike. That's what great center forwards do. They're sometimes uninvolved, almost looking uninterested at times. And then all of a sudden that one opportunity and bang, it's in the back of the net. And Ronaldo does that here, gets the ball sprung to him, takes his opportunity and finishes it very, very calmly. Here it is, comes in, he cuts back right there, puts it on his right foot and that's the last Matt Reese saw of that one. Great ball by Zidane, good touch. Scoots right past Mastriani there, Conrad's late coming in. Great strikers, score goals. You have to love the touch, cutting it inside the surging defender who happened to be Mastriani there, finding Jide. Baptista will start it back the other way. Ronaldo, fending off the challenge, shot, and it's his second of the match. Unbelievable from the Brazilian. 3-0 Real Madrid. Well, we're well into the second half, and you almost start asking, is Ronaldo still on the field? And then there's just one ball played through. He's on his horse. You can't catch him. He's strong. He's got pace, and he can hit the ball. It's not that much dissimilar than the first goal that he scored. That one, he had to make a cutback. This was more pure pace. There's the ball played through. He's running past Jimmy Conrad here. He can't get on him, he holds him off, and then just power, precision, it's in the back of the net, it's in the corner. Without a doubt, the ability to shred the, shrug off the challenges and still maintain the skill sets him aside from some of the other forwards, quite possibly one of the best in the world right now. And that's why he gets the big bucks, and that's why during Carn Garcia, wide now for Ronaldo. Good early ball, Guti cuts it inside the defense, the shot, clinically done. Guti makes it 4-0. As I said earlier, Guti is a quality player because he can play a number of places and he can play all those positions with quality. And here you get a chance to see him get pushed in as almost as a center forward on his run and just cut the ball back and then pick his corner. I mean, that's a, a clinical finish. You see the ball here, great first time layoff. Guti, great cutback on Douglas Sequeira. And no chance for Matt Reese as he just picks the corner and puts it inside the post. Good goal by Guti. Hasn't been such a good showing by Douglas Sequeira in the minutes he's been on. Well, we've seen Sequeira doing the bit through. Jimmy Conrad with the clearance. Not out of danger yet. Look at the skill here. Raul with the chip and a goal. 
What a bit of skill, they show you why. One of the top teams in Europe, without a doubt, Real Madrid putting on the Clinic de España here. If you wonder why they're called Galacticos, there was the great example of it. Nick Romando coming in. It's not the way you want to enter a game and, and face that kind of a combination, but just a brilliant one-two. Poor clearances by the MLS Select. One-two, back heel there into Raul. He sees the goalkeeper and just, again, a goal scorer's finish. He just knows the goalkeeper's going to go down and just gets a little dink on it, a little chip. And that's just a, a very skillful, classical finish. The combination, though, there between the two players, Raul eventually finishing it. A great layoff there by Portillo, I think it is. And, you know, a great little...